All right, round getting underway, and we take a look at the Combat Sambo World Champion and UFC lightweight contender, Islam Akashev. What will he do in this fight? Well, oftentimes he does whatever he wants to do. Certainly he can impose his will on the ground where his game is just so nuanced when it comes to the throws and the trips and the manipulation of joints and everything else. But on the feet, in a kickboxing setting, this man has proven a lead as well. A true five-tool player who many believe... He's hurt bad. Oh, we're getting to finish here. And now, oh, my God. Oh, that was awesome. He's brutalizing him with the right of home. This fight is close to being done. Stevens gets up. He is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground, but he worked hard there to get back to the feet. We'll see what he does here. He postures up and lands to the head. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Well, he's on his back, but he's landing. Oh, good movement to avoid that strike from the top. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Oh, now looking to posture up, and he lands a big head strike. Nicely done there by Islam Makasha. Just over three minutes to go. All right, full guard here, DC. We'll see how soon he tries to pass. Well, he needs to be passing immediately. In the full guard is where you are in most danger as a top fighter because they have all of their submissions. Right. They have the guillotine. They have the arm bar. They have the kimuras. They have all their locks when they're in the full guard. So if you pass, you really do limit the danger. Makashev's cut above the eye now from that strike, so we'll see how the fighter deals with that definite adversity now. All right, well, he... Oh, he hurt him again, bro. Oh, oh! Oh, that's big. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Nice kick. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to start to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not head-hunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now and it's starting to show itself. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate, a lot of activity in the hands look phenomenal tonight. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Oh, and now the hip toss in a great position now to go out there. He did a great job of stepping all the way across to get that hip toss. Now look for him to start chasing down a submission. This could be the end of the fight. He gets up, though. Yeah, he did a great job of straightening his arm. And then when his arm straightened, he followed the momentum going in that direction to free himself from that Kimura attempt. Now he's in trouble. He's going to go to sleep. And that will do it! It's like a passion! Back with style pants tonight! Oh, my goodness. Wow, an unbelievable result here tonight by way of submission. And he bided his time there. He stayed patient, waited for an opening, and then when it was there, he certainly capitalized to get the tap here tonight. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. All right, the official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at four minutes, eight seconds of the very first. 